A recent poll of 1,277 people conducted by the Associated Press and WeTV examined the subject of changing family structures in the United States. The poll revealed that two out of five unmarried women under the age of 50 would consider having a child without a partner. One of those women choosing to enter parenthood alone is our guest and joins us live right here in the studio. She is Keisha Rollins. Thank you so much for being here with us. You're welcome. And a Debbie, very dear friend you. of mine, I have to also disclose. You are planning, in fact, you leave tomorrow to go yes. to Haiti on a recent Haitian, uh, trip, missionary trip to Haiti. Fell in love with a, a young girl. You decided to adopt this little girl. Okay. Go Correct. tomorrow to start the process. Um, tell me about the decision. How difficult was it to decide, still being single, to take on parenthood? Well, the decision was not as difficult for me because it's something that I've always had in my heart to do. And um, once the opportunity came up, I did not know when, where, how, or who, baby, boy, girl. But once the opportunity came up, once I laid eyes on Zoe, I knew that she was my daughter and, and I, it was time. I also know about you. You've wanted to be married. You do want to have a partner and have a whole family. Why was that not a deterrent to you to just wait until you have a partner to take on this responsibility? Well, honestly speaking, I've always thought that to, have a, to be a mother, to have a child, was more of a value to me than to have a partner to husband. Uh, I used to laugh with my friends and I would say that the husband was just a means to the end mm. to have to have my family to have the children and while that's the ultimate goal and still a goal I still would like to to be married and have a spouse have a partner to raise this child but right now it's the time I'm ready how have your family and friends reacted my friends are very supportive. They're all excited. Um, they're all happy to be aunties and to be nanas and things like that. My family, however, are very, they're a little apprehensive. They're a little uh, not sure about it, um, but they're behind me. They're supportive. Um, I've talked to one cousin, at least, who's ready and willing to, to do what she can do to, to assist me. And I know that you've thought about this. You've even prayed about this. Oh, this much. is a big, big, big responsibility. Much, yeah. I want to bring in uh, another guest into our conversation. She is Stella Gilcor cook and she is of the Spence Chapin uh, Adoption Agency. She is the Associate Director of Outreach. Stella, thank you so much for being here with us. How common is Keisha's story? A single woman who, yes, wants a, a family, wants a husband, but also also wants a child and decides to adopt as a single woman? It's pretty common. We've seen single parents coming forward to start adoptions on their own for many years. Certainly, I would say in the past two to four years, we've seen an increase in that. Um, and we've responded in kind by making sure we have services for single moms to have successful adoptions. I know for years there has been a very narrow definition of what a family is, especially when it came to qualifying to adopt. Uh, when, did, when was that corner turned to broaden the definition of a family and allow a non-traditional family, say a single woman, to adopt? I don't know that I can pinpoint an exact point in time, but I think essentially what happened is as international adoptions became more complex and the children uh, were older and there were sibling groups, you know, we started to look at a wider pool of families and really advocating not just for a traditional heterosexual married couple, but really to see the strengths of other types of families who can adopt these children. And that's been reflected in our domestic international process as well. And you know, the, the reality is raising a child is difficult under the best of circumstances. And that old African proverb, uh, proverb sure is true. It takes a village to raise a child. What are some of the big concerns about bringing a child into a single parent family? And in this case, for a discussion today, uh, to a single female, a single mother? Well, I think it's exactly what you're talking about. You know, people frequently want to know what is the difference between a married couple adopting and a single applicant adopting. And technically, there's no difference in how they move through the process. But one place where we really do focus a little bit more attention is on that single woman's support system, her family members, her friends, her place of work. How is she going to have the support to be able to provide a stable, loving home for a child? And most women have amazing communities that they can rely on. And when they don't have them, we help to build them. We have a single parent support group here 
uh, for women before their children come home and also a group for after they become single moms. Well, that is so good to know because the support is, is so important to have. Stella, I'm wondering, do you know of any statistics about the number of single women who adopt uh, uh, that are go on to get married later? I don't know the exact number. Uh, it, I would say in our case, we have certainly seen some single moms who've started the process on their own and maybe during the process met someone or afterwards have, have met someone and, and become partnered. So it, it certainly happens. I'm sorry, I don't have the exact numbers. All right, stand by, Stella, for just a second. I want to bring Keisha back into the conversation. Are you worried? You do still want to get married, don't you, one day? I do, yes. Are you worried that this might prolong or even eliminate the possibility of marriage if you have a child? The thought did come to me, but I'm not worried about it. I feel like I, I am consistently relying on my faith. My faith is informing me to hope, to hold on, to continue, to just move forward. Uh, my grandma always said, tend your own garden. And so I'm beginning to tend my garden. I wanted a family, and I'm going to start a family. And do you feel like you'll get the support that you need from society? Is there a stigma uh, about single motherhood anymore? I don't think that there's a stigma about single motherhood anymore. I think in today's society, we look to the woman to be able to do it all. And, and I'm trying to be one of those women. All right, well, we wish you all the best. Keisha Rollins, thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck to you, thank blessings you. to you. And Stella Gilker cook thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. And you are watching Arise America.